Uh, I, hopefully I did things correctly. Otherwise, I'm stupid. Not uncommon, though. Uh, ch 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 ah, ah, in my, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Help me knock that down a little. All right. Hello, John, Danny, Gamer Dude, Positive Sauce. Jesus Christ. Okay, so you went from laundry sauce to positive sauce. All right, then. Wait a sec. What am I waiting on? So, DeMarco, your boy, Aleem. So, dude. So, Zach, Edgar, sup, guys? All right, hopefully the stream didn't get demonetized because, yeah, that seems to happen a lot. You're asking on giving birth. Hey, thanks. Same. Yeah, I know that made no sense, but that wasn't meant to make sense. What is this today? Um, Mob of the Dead came out five years ago today. That's, yeah. So, it's working. It's actually fucking so, I believe it came in now to make me a 9 game. Well, yeah, because if they let you change your name every like three seconds, then, you know, hey, oh, hey, oh. Supposed to be Alan. Okay, so I'm assuming he's still wrong. Right. I'm disappointed when you said my name. Yeah, you are disappointed. Fight me. I'm five years old too. Same. I just went through the period fairly. Fuck. What is this shit? Things. Things. Are you here? Billy? What about you? That, that's my mic. Damn it. By a shit done? Yeah, alright, cool. Cause like switching in between consoles is like yeah it's it's a pain in the ass. Tell me if that's good or if I need to turn it down more. Probably need to turn it down a little bit more. Let me. How do we get out of here? Uh, that should be good. All right, cool. That should be good right there, guys. I keep forgetting. Oh yeah, don't fucking shoot. Minecraft Hunger Games better than Fortnite, dude. Beijing Canadian. And, oh, Jerome back in the day. That was my shit, all right? I used to sit there for years and binge watch that shit, all right? Don't even. Sounds good. All right, cool. You were a pain in my ass. <laughs> yeah, don't tell the cops that I go to jail. Anyway, um, what? What? Need some help on Mob of the Dead? Well, I can't help you. I don't have Xbox Live anymore, dude. I do not have that shit anymore. I play on PS4. Any explanation for that Twitter photo? You know that one? Okay, okay. So, I will give you an explanation, right? Um, me and the girlfriend, right? The first movie that we watched together on Netflix was some weird, like, sort of low-budget comedy movie, right? Where the only reason that we watched it was because the thumbnail on Netflix was because... Or, um... The thumbnail on Netflix was this fat, like, middle-aged woman in a unicorn onesie, right? So... For the shits and gigs, you know, she got me, like, you know, a bunch of chocolate, you know, she got me, you know, like, some other stuff, right? And she decided that it would be a good idea to get me a unicorn onesie, right? So, she says, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm opening up the package, I knew she got it for me, right? So, what happened is, I open the thing up, I take, you know, the unicorn onesie out. The thing's huge, by the way. I mean, huge. Look up FN 5.7. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, OMG Loki watched this series five times when I was told, dude, oh, it's so good. I would watch Sky the Kid, RS Showcase, Mod Packs for hours. Okay, right? One of my favorite people ever was, um, one of my favorite channels ever was, ah, oh, what the fuck is it? God damn it. Um, ah, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna bother me. I'll remember in a minute. Oh, but it was so good back in the day. Anyway, so, what she did was, um, you know, she got the unicorn ones and whatever, told me to put it on, so I did. And, you know, obviously I'm going to take a picture of it, you know, things like that, yada, yada. Can I get out of this corner? Apparently not. Um, no, not Tobuscus. Um, God damn it. They had a bunch of channels, like, the main one had a shit ton of subs, and it was run by two guys. God damn it. They own, like, this whole company and shit. I, I forget. I'll, I'll remember the name in a minute. God damn it. Can I not die? Thank you. I just barely got Seriously? Wow. YouTube notifications coming in clutch as always. Coming in clutch. I don't even know if I upgraded this thing, but I'm getting out of here. Fuck it. Hey, hey it was good, nerd. I think Greg's reply some of everyone thoughts on that photo. Okay, yeah, but I sent the photo to her, and yeah, basically that was boring. She decided to put it on Twitter because, right? You know, I said, God, just like I can imagine you putting on Twitter and just the caption just being fucking furry, and she's like, You think I won't? I say, Ah. 
Pretty sure you will, not gonna lie. Wait, why did... Why did both of them follow me here? That may... Aren't they not supposed to do that? I don't know. Alright, well, that's a thing. What's up, Matt? But yeah, that Twitter, that Twitter picture, that, that, that's all I'm gonna say is it exists. It exists and it's never going to go away. Genuinely, right? Like, I, I just love the picture because it just summarizes me. It's like, I'm stuck in a unicorn onesie because fuck it. Are you using an Elgato? Yeah. Yeah, I have to on last gen. Notification works because I'm the most active. I think it actually somewhat does work like that. Like, I'm not even kidding. And... Cool, alright, we're doing a first room. Fuck it. I'll have to send you a furry picture. Nah, I'm good. The most casual high round of the Shadow Throne last night. It's a great high round. Like, did you do it with the Wonder Weapon? I don't even know if the thing is any good. Genuinely, I have no idea. Well, Mike, use, um, Blue Yeti. Blue Yeti, my guy. You're trash? Shut up, John. You couldn't even, like... Okay, you tried to be myth earlier, and you just failed hard. Don't even. The Reich Rolver... The Reich Revolver papped is low-key amazing. Is that the new is that the new um starting pistol that you can use? For 30 rounds, it'll still good. Okay, and what's that challenge, right? For anyone that doesn't know, we're talking about World War II. Um what's that challenge where it's like uh, I think it's something like get to round 30 not using any of the weapons or like wonder weapons or anything. Uh I got an Elgato for Switch, but I wanna get Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Nintendo sucks, that sort of shit. It's just, uh, it's a 500 point pistol. Where is it? Because genuinely, I haven't used half of the weapons in that map. Not gonna lie to you. Like, j just no. Because <laughs> I played it a couple times, right? And then we did the Easter egg, and then we immediately started doing speedruns of it. So genuinely, I haven't played the map very much casually. 30, no perk, no downs, no wonder weapons, basically no magic. That is, that is a tall task, not gonna lie. Especially with all the whistlings and, ugh, just no. At least you don't have the sizzlers. First to like, hey, thanks, I'll appreciate it. Appreciate it, my guy. Um, but yeah, that is, that is a tall task. Oh, by the way, for anyone that doesn't know what we talked about, the unicorn onesie thing, uh, go look on Twitter, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Uh, if you follow me, you, yeah, yeah. Basically, I got stuck in a fucking unicorn onesie. <laughs> I actually have it right behind me, and I'm going to put it back on later, because it's warm. I'm not going to lie to you, it's warm, and it's actually pretty comfy. Don't at me, and don't judge me. So I the save, I think, bow that pack punch is the worst weapon ever, but after paps, the revolver was 16 in the mech. Okay. The new challenge took me 45 minutes to just use traps. Okay. Alright. I make a second channel for Nintendo or non-PC gaming stuff. Yeah, you really, like, that... It's just, you know, if you have a main channel and you have one thing that you really, like, have stuck to you for a long time, I'd stick to that on that channel, just make a second one for other stuff. You know what I mean? I never understood the whole, you know, hey, I've been doing this for a long time and I still want to do it, so I'm going to switch it up and do something else on this channel now, even though I still like the other thing. It's like, what? No, that's fucking stupid. Do you know Wobo? Yeah, I've been friends with Wobo since he had, like, a couple hundred subs. Why? I mean, like, I met the guy two plus years ago because he was friends with greg and i met greg and then i met wobo at the exact same time so you know yeah it's um yeah i've known wobo for a while why do you ask looks not furry obviously confirmed 100 percent. put it on reddit boys put it on reddit oh and like speaking of this right you know like uh cherry basically said because there was this reddit thread that uh i tweeted out right from over a year ago Whereas all the zombies YouTubers, I guess, that were active and inactive and all this other bullshit. Um, so basically, someone put this, you know, big old thread together, right? You know, to inform people of, you know, okay, who's around, who's not, you know, things like that. Just, you know, to find new channels. And I think MJPW tweeted out, because I don't know how he found the thread, but I went and I looked and then I tweeted it. Apparently, the Reddit would, like, shred the thing, you know, and they would just absolutely shit on it because they're toxic. But I don't know. I would find it really cool to see someone make a reddit thread again of all the people that are still active and doing zombies that would actually be really really cool just so the more hardcore people could actually find new content you know if they haven't found some of these channels out there i don't know it would just be kind of interesting you know what i mean but apparently the reddit would shred the thing so you know i, I don't know if it'd be a really good idea to be honest but i think it would be cool i don't know what do you guys think pretty much strict with cod multiplayer cs and the occasional zombies yeah it's I mean, like, I don't know, Counter-Strike's in a weird point with the content because of the whole trade situation, so. 
Send any of the worst furry picture I can find. Please don't block me. No promises. All trees tweet towards me or something along the fucks of fuck off, John, or shut up, John. Shut up, John. Honestly, if you're here, all right, then, like, Jerry, if you're here, please just tell down John to shut up. Gotta keep with traditions. Gotta keep it up, fam. You know, little bit is gonna make a new video, or did he quit for good? He quit for good. Uh, he just wasn't enjoying YouTube anymore, to be honest. Dude, I found the Reagan in Fortnite. Dude, same. I found it in a chug jug machine. Yes, that was supposed to not make any sense, by the way. Eat my ass? Uh, yeah, no, I think you, you do that on, like, most Friday nights. Find a dumpster somewhere. I think, like, the person makes you call him daddy, but, I mean, it's kind of ironic because it actually is your dad. Anyway. Uh, yeah, but no, like, Jag. Yeah, I mean, like, if you saw that whole fucking thread, right, where, you know, Panda was like, oh, why can't he do this full time? I'm like, the guy's 12. He has school and shit. I mean, it would be great for you to do GFX full time, but, like, you know, some of these guys that do it full time, you know, some of these projects take a long ass time, you know? Job John, thank you. Thank you for telling him to shut up. Fortnite has turned into YouTube. Well, yeah, I mean, you have the most popular game in the world. People are obviously going to jump on that, you know what I mean? Where you have a player base that's consistently over a million concurrent viewers a day, I mean, mm, who's 12 Jag? Like, the dude makes absolutely insane GFX, and he's going to have a feature in it. Like, there's obviously no doubt, but I'm saying, you know, right now, I just don't know if he physically has the time to actually, you know, be able to do GFX, you know, like, full-time as in 30, 40 hours a week when you get home from school, you know what I mean? So, and, you know, doing GFX full-time would probably require you to stop, you know, uploading on your channel or streaming and stuff, you know? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to Mob of the Dead, happy birthday to you. Hell yeah, dude, happy birthday Mob of the Dead, fuck yeah, dude. PUBG's better. Honestly, I never liked the look of PUBG, personally. I liked H1, um, never liked PUBG, personally, which is a preference. Um, and then I didn't like Fortnite originally, and then I got sort of sucked into it, and Fortnite does get, um, it, it deserves the praise that it gets. Maybe not, like, as much... Right, I think it should be toned down a little bit, but it deserves a lot of praise. Penis, good. Well, and then there's Panda. The fake Panda. Alright. And then there's the fake Panda. But hello, Cherry. I subbed. Hey, thanks, dude. Hello. Fortnite is gay. Fortnite is not the big gay um, PUBG is. Genuinely, it's it's just become so popular that it's become cool to hate on Fortnite regardless of whether you like the game or not Because it's basically shoved down your throats by everybody, but there is a huge audience for it So you can't really blame people D bangs no way hell yeah, do you gotta have the man's D bangs? Stop subtweeting me and at me next time dude. Oh, okay I, I'm not even gonna go into fucking subtweets right now. You guys missed an absolute fucking shit fest on Twitter it was amazing because I tweeted out, I tweeted out, right? Can't wait for all these Fortnite channels to die. It's going to be hilarious. Something like that, right? And everybody and their mother got triggered. It was so funny. Like, you know, obviously Pat was replying to me. I think Avery, like, I had a bunch of little kids telling me to go and kill myself. Like, it was actually hilarious because I'm sitting there and I'm going like, you're the people that are worried about your channel dying, right? Pat's going to be fine either way. A lot of the bigger channels are going to be fine. I really like Pat's content. But a lot of these smaller guys were just up in arms freaking out. I don't know. Talking about Johnny. Oh, yeah. Talking about Johnny Boy. Johnny. Oh, John. Okay. I was like, Johnny as in Johnny who? Or Johnny as in John? Okay. He bangs and I have a Snapchat streak. Nice. Didn't mean to so tweet you didn't realize until after the fact. Nice. Had a trigger community, right? It was actually hilarious. I sat there and I was like, my notifications blew up for the longest time. And I just sat there going, man, a lot of you guys are fucking freaking out. You know, it's like, calm down. Can I have an opinion here? I don't know. And everyone's like, oh, you're wishing bad upon all these channels. I'm like, I mean, if you go on to a game that is trendy, don't expect it to not die in your channel not to go with it. You know, if you don't switch up your content. Like, what? I don't know, man. I remember that, yeah. Happy birthday, Mob of the Dead. Hell yeah, dude. Honestly, you shut up, phenomenal. Cuck. For the biggest YouTubers you know that I actually know and talk to? Um. Probably like 
the gaming revolution crazy rabbit greg um a couple other people here and there i mean like i don't go out of my way to talk to any of the big guys and other big guys go out of the way to talk to me that's what i'll say um but yeah you know it's uh yeah I, I know some of the bigger guys like i don't talk to them you know a ton probably greg's the one that I talked to the most out of those three so he said you apologize for having an opinion oh okay yeah I, I i apologize for having an opinion around here yeah shut up riley uh it was good nash brb shower got gotcha. you what's mob what's motd mob of the dead one of the most iconic maps in zombies history I genuinely like how are you in a zombie stream and you never heard of mob of the dead see i had to put motd though because mob of the dead would get demonetized so you know hey no i'm good i should fucking die right gotta win in fortnite be proud of me uh yeah no says the guy that's apparently some fucking pc gaming wizard and is like oh i could have gone professional in counter strike yeah no i'm not gonna give you praise for a win in fortnite all right it's all about them v buck giveaways no no it's about new leaked uh, or like free skin giveaways or like brand new leaked skin giveaways or whatever the fuck it is now just like essentially misleading bullshit in their titles anyway but I'm, just because i'm serial doesn't mean i should die i mean serial is dead to be fair so i mean like maybe you should join it i don't know anyway and she segregated me today and put me between the girls in the big groups of music and she told me I segregated, so I yell, I'm general, general neutral now. See, like, if that actually happened and I actually, you know, did believe you, you could actually sue your school for that. Um, but point being of, yeah, I don't believe you because you're Marco. And you're the shut up, or you're the, uh, so sad, yeah, cabbage savage guy, I can't remember the fucking phrase. I'm weird. I like Fortnite, only have Fortnite wins. I mean, I play a lot of it, to be fair, and I only have, like, 96 or 97 or something like that, so don't feel that bad. So your tweet saw someone say Fortnite will die to zombies. No, no, like, someone, like, got triggered and said, that, oh, you think that it's gonna die to zombies? You obviously don't know what's happening. Dude, that tweet is so toxic. What's up, Jerma? One kill equals one piece of clothing off. Okay, right, did anyone see that fucking tweet? Where it was this guy who did a fucking Fortnite video of, um... It was with his sister, and it was one kill equals little sister removes one piece of clothing. Some shit like that. It was so weird. Hopefully views pull in like they did last summer. Oh, yeah, they're going to. Like, give it around July time, everything's going to pick up like fucking crazy in the span of about a week or two. Don't hate on them, who? Who am I not hating on? Dude, it's, oh, it's bad. I was like, what the fuck, dude? Like, huh? It wasn't actually his sister, and she's 17, but still, still, she's 17. Like, technically, that's that's still no. And also, why would you even want to lie about that? I mean, okay, maybe he did it because he knew it would stir up controversy, and he knew that shit was going to happen because of it. Maybe that's why he did it. I don't know. But if he genuinely thought that it was okay, you know, maybe because his audience was young and they'd want to see that sort of shit, that would just, mm, mm. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, fam. I am good. Who are you? Uh, I'm your dad. She told me not to make a joke anymore about that, about that because people actually suffer from that. I mean, technically, she can't tell you that you're wrong, right? If you actually testify that you believe that you're gender neutral, no one can tell you that you're wrong. So technically, she's not correct there. Did you see the description? Nah, no, I didn't. What was the description? Here is a literal meme or the most philosophical cheesy toots ever. Essentially, yeah. I beat my meat to potato chips. Same, not gonna lie. Just same. Is sick of Let me use my sister to create a controversial video. Oh, I don't have any of To get me views and exposure, people are gross. It's YouTube in, tw in 2018. It's literally the most... It's the wild west of YouTube, essentially, where everyone is just vying for views so hard right now that they're going to do anything to get them. I mean, look at, uh... uh what the fuck's his name? Um... The guy the Keemstar really shits on constantly. The dude that does, like, all of these ghost videos and whatever. Saying, oh, a ghost attacked me and my girlfriend or whatever. That guy. I can't remember his name. Maybe Tox. I'm not a very Tox person online, but more... Hey, shut up. So don't take pictures of my sister because it's pretty weird and my parents would kill us. Yeah, see, that's just weird. Sup, Mitch? See you later. Alright, peace, Misty. Sup, Tay? 
and I miss the time people used to love to play zombies. People still do love to play zombies. It's more or less just there's more entertaining things going on than World War II zombies currently. By the way, that's not the stream lag. That's literally my Xbox One not being able to run Mob of the Dead. Don't ask me how. Seriously. I don't, like... If anyone ever tells you the Xbox One, the base one, is more powerful than a PS4, please slap them. Thank you. I'm not a console wars person. It's, it's just, it's facts. It's genuinely trash. Can't run a five-year-old game. Anyway. Um, Lance Stewart. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Yeah, Lance Stewart. Like, people like Lance Stewart are able to succeed because of content like that. That's the world that we're living in right now. So, eh. I don't know, man. I don't know. Why did I end around and retard? I have 180 kids in my high school. I had, like, 500. I might actually pre order BO4 when the additions are up. Dude, same. Honestly, how are they going to chop, yeah, top the jug fridge? That's going to be a tall task. Because the jug fridge was fucking dope. And I still am sad that I couldn't get my hands on one because I was broke at the time. But whatever the addition is for this year, I am getting it. I don't care. I am getting it. Wow, that's too good for the Xbox One, right? Um, Miss Old Luke did orgasm sound. Didn't have a girlfriend, the Luke that did Easter eggs with the big boys. Had dead chat. Shut up. I mean, like, so wait, wait. What you're saying is you wish... That my channel never went anywhere. Watch Air Turbo's video. Um, DM me and I'll look because I'm not so they are. Genuinely, I'm not subbed to a lot of zombies, guys. That's just, I don't watch much zombies content and I feel like my subscription would essentially be useless if that makes sense. I, I don't know. I always feel like those guys that sub to everybody just because, hey, you're another zombie YouTuber, I'll sub to you. I don't know. I genuinely never liked that sort of mentality. If I'm subbing to somebody, it's because they make good content. That's just plain some. How's in general? I know. It's, it's running Windows 10, yeah. Hey, that guy because he just exposes his girlfriend's body? Yeah. I miss zombies, to be honest. Still play it, but I think people don't want to stream it due to Fortnite. Not a lot of people like World or 2 either. Yeah. He goes over it. Gotcha. Wait, he goes over what? I'm missing something here. I miss 2.1k Luke. You know, the Prime Luke. Obviously. See... I already have people saying that your channel's already peaked. It's never gonna get any better. It's all downhill from here, boys. It's like, come on. Come on, people. Come on. Let's get over ourselves here. Well, topic, what are your plans for the summer? Um, it all depends on how things go, genuinely, where if content is new, fresh, and Black Ops 4 looks good, then obviously, you know, I'm gonna put out content like everybody else. But... Until then, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing. And I don't want to push out content for the sake of doing it, you know. So, right now I'm just sort of streaming here and there. I might upload a video or two, you know, like once in a while. But I'm pretty dormant right now. Bring it back, you know, a couple months. Um, if BO4 looks good. If not, then, you know. I'll, I'll still upload zombies and I'll still stream it. But I'll have to figure out something else. I just got Funk Ops, funk ops on Fortnite. That was Funk Ops. You had to see us go to... Uh, addiction when it was trendy, zombies addiction when zombies was trendy, not Fortnite. See, I play a lot of Fortnite, right? But I don't put that on this channel. What's your point? I mean, like, you've gone in between, like, 17 different games, but a good five years? Hell yeah, dude. Is this a V-Bucks giveaway channel? Uh, see, no, this is a Roblox, a Robux giveaway channel, thank you. Stop assuming my gender. YouTubers have an idea, let's quickly and exploit the platform and other people, their conscience. What about dignity and respect, though? YouTubers not a fan, fuck that. Uh, it's it's such a weird weird stance to take right but I can't really blame people for clickbaiting and almost and almost being misleading if you're straight up misleading that's something that I don't really agree with but you know those videos of like hey new Leviathan skin giveaway and you're actually doing one technically it's clickbait but it's not misleading because of the fact that you are actually doing one right or there, there's a ton of other examples but Quick Revive is not on this map. Quick Revive literally doesn't exist on this map. Um, what was my favorite YouTuber? Sammy McGreed shit. I'm an old cuckold. I just watch him play World of Warcraft. Yeah, sounds pretty accurate. Not gonna lie. Can I like... Oh, I just realized I have no Quick Revive. Or, um, yeah. Afterlife's. It's so weird, right? You don't play Mob of the Dead or Zombies for a little while, and you just forget everything. You really do. I don't know, man. 
is a young Atrima here? Yes, he is. Is this a free skin glitch giveaway app? Yes. Robux giveaway instant flood of six-year-olds. Dude, okay, right? Roblox is ironically fun and unironically for six-year-olds, if that makes any sense. Where if you actually go on and play Roblox with your friends, it's pretty funny just to actually have a laugh at it. You know what I mean? It's sort of like Minecraft nowadays, but just Roblox. I don't know. A mod for a Roblox YouTuber and just that six-year-olds watching him. Why are you, Why the hell are you a mod for a Roblox YouTuber? Let's let's ask that question first. Do you have that on good notifications? You've been dead for a while. I've uh, been dead for a while, but I've been streaming, you know, like, and semi-inconsistently, so maybe you just don't get notifications. I don't know, man. I have zombies privilege. Oh, well, at least you can admit it. At least you can admit that, Nash. How many wins do you have? 97? Probably gonna hit 100, like, tonight or tomorrow. I'm gonna try to grind it out and actually, like, play seriously. Uh, Luke, if I can join you, can we play a legit game instead of sit and stare? Wait what, wait, what? You mean on zombies or like you mean on Fortnite? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I said free Robux and you modded me. What a legend. What a legend. I wish six year olds watched me. Uh, yeah, see, that's kind of pedo y, John. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I only play on weekends now. Yeah. That's like a lot of people, you know. Um, school's starting to. It's starting to wind down a little bit, like in the next couple weeks after finals for everybody and after all the college kids get that. You know, get out of class and things like that and once people i think the middle of may is really when people in the south of the united states start getting out for the summer um but once all that happens i think things are going to start really ramping up again for zombies and you know gaming in general so it's gonna be interesting you streaming on twitch nah twitch is dead for call of duty it just is um i went on world war ii earlier actually because twitch is actually running this deal where you can get 500 bits which is basically five bucks worth of twitch currency for a dollar and I went on there and I was watching a couple streams, whatever. I decided, you know what? I'm going to go into a zombie stream, see if I can, you know, give somebody some bits, right? There was literally nobody with more than one viewer streaming World War II. Like, World War II zombies to be specific, right? Everything was multiplayer. I was like, really? Nobody is playing World War II zombies on Twitch. Absolutely nobody. I couldn't find a single stream, not even with one viewer. It's like, come on, man. I'm gonna take my music finals, don't fail me. Uh, see, I would just skip it, because fuck music finals. Like, just fuck school in general. That's why I don't, that's why I don't go to college. Uh, there's still quite a few young kids in the zombies community. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know, but, yeah, I don't, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. The demographics for zombies is really all over the place, not gonna lie. It really is. Bring back Wilbo. No video in the Fortnite cuckold duo since two weeks fucking kill me. Where's my quality Fortnite content? Uh, see, it is coming back to a store near you very soon, my guy. Very soon. I oh, forgot to grab a shirt. I am pretty stupid. About to play Fortnite with Gage, but he spent 12 minutes trying to goddamn... <laughs> so I'm just waiting in this game. Who's Gage? Yeah, like, I... who Who's Gage? I, I'm confused. For enough, I join, can we play a fucking game that says staring at the screen listening to their tarred song? <laughs> See, if, like, if I don't ready up within a minute or two, it's just I'm not there. Okay, near here. Okay, gotcha. But it's just I'm not there. Genuinely. It's not that, like, I'm ignoring you or anything. Um, it's just that I'm not there. You know what I mean? Or I'm not playing right now. So, I'm a 13-year-old, still plays zombies hardcore. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people like that. There's a lot of people that play zombies every single day. There's a lot of people that... Still upload zombies. It's just right now the community has a stigma of it's dead because a lot of the bigger guys aren't uploading it, and because views are down. To be fair, they are. Uh, America, he wasn't going. Oh, fuzz. Um, I, I think a little bit like you know he got frustrated. His channel was dead, and I just don't think he was enjoying zombies much, so he decided to quit. I think he tweeted out today that yeah, it was today that oh you know. I almost streamed, or streamed for almost a year straight, and then I forgot how to do it, you know, or some, some shit like that, so. He's not totally dead. He still tweets every once in a while. I miss Stuart, though. I miss him. Streamed World War II Zombies three times in the past ten days. Lamau? I know, right? Lamau? World War II Zombies in 2019. Y'all. Uh, I have to ask, has the suck suck in thickness gone away? You mean from me? I mean, the thickness is, you know, it's going down a little bit, you know, because I'm losing weight, you know, but, like, I, I wouldn't say that it's gone in the sucky, sucky today. Sucky, sucky, padala. Padala. 
Should I actually bother to do the... Eh, yeah, I'll do the blast dog. He quit. I haven't heard of anyone quitting. Um, Fuzzify. He quit like a year ago. There's a lot of guys that have quit in the last year, two, something like that, that have silently quit and haven't made, like, huge deals out of it. You know, where they make videos saying, Oh, I'm quitting YouTube, you know, and, and I can't do it anymore. It doesn't fit into my schedule. Like, it's not like that. You just stop uploading, so... Just shut up, John. Just shut up, John. Nobody care for your opinion. I don't know, man, but... Genuinely, right? I, I want to ask you guys. Do you think Zombies is going to be... Quote-unquote, revived? When we see the community reveal for BO4, right? We're not going to see much of Zombies. We might see, like, at the very end of the reveal. We might see a picture. We might hear a sound or something. And the community is going to explode, right? Especially if it's an older sounding, you know, uh, zombie where it's been from a map before. We see anything mob of the dead. The community is going to explode. That's that's going to be true. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Mr. Voice. Oh, what's up, David? JKC. Okay, bye. Uh, where's Overcharged? Uh, he quit. Because he said zombies got too easy and there was some family stuff going on. Like, it's a complicated situation. But, yeah, he quit. He's not coming back. And he's really, like, jaded towards the zombies community, and he just doesn't like any of the people anymore. It's it's really weird. If you quit, I would cry, not kidding. I mean, same, not gonna lie. Just same, my guy. So many years. I mean, my four year on this channel is coming up in July, so, yeah, it's been a long time. What about Azura? Um, he says he quit, but I think if zombies actually piques his interest again for BO4, I'll come back. Hopefully. Because Zora does make really good content. Like, genuinely, he makes really solid content. So, Something's hopefully coming. he'll come back. Now, I think it'll be revised when BO4 revived and has kick-ass first map. I don't know, because if it makes any sense, Black Ops 3 was actually more hyped during the summer before its release. And people were getting more views during release than they did in November when it actually came out. Because the hype was just so strong. Like, Shadows of Evil was leaked really, really far in advance from what I remember. Or, like, you know, we had the whole giant thing and all that other bullshit. But genuinely, the summer before BO3 was super hyped. So, I don't know. Maybe it'll happen this time. Maybe. I see the zombies community, or the community is dormant, not dead. All the people are just not watching zombies right now. Yeah, I think that that's true in a sense. I think that... Okay. Just my opinion here, right? But if Black Ops 4 is bad, Zombies is never going to reach the heights that it did ever again. It just won't. Because everyone holds on to Treyarch as the last bastion of hope for Zombies. And, hey, every three years at least we get Treyarch. But if Treyarch's not good, then a large part of the casual community is just going to leave. And I think a lot of the YouTubers are going to leave along with that because they're just not pulling in the views that they were. So... It really does hinge on Treyarch having a good year. And I think that if we can have a solid year after this with Infinity Ward again. Hey, original kill. Thanks for the sub, by the way. Um, but I think that if Treyarch doesn't have a good year, whether that be just sales aren't good or whatever it may be, right? If Treyarch doesn't have a good year zombies-wise... I don't think that the community can really sustain itself for another couple years. But if they do have a good year, and, inf and Infinite Warfare 2 or whatever the shit it's going to be, the next IW Zombies is actually good and the community is accepting of it, then I really think that we can have sort of a renaissance of zombies and it can go a couple more cycles before we even have to think about that again. So I don't know. You don't know how much I miss Fuzz. Fucking hope the man comes back for BO4. He couldn't see in the big 2030 if he makes videos. He has a great personality. Yes, dude's got a great personality. He really does. And I hope he comes back too. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, when you blow up, could I get a mod? Because I could brag to all my friends in a mod for a big channel. <laughs> like, genuinely, I... I hope we do cool things in BO4. I really do. Genuinely. One of my big goals for, you know, just making zombies videos has always been to meet Jason Blundell. I don't know why, I just really want to meet Jason. And I used to say this a lot in streams, you know, but it's like, you know, hey ho, it's still true. But genuinely, I would pay money to be within smelling distance of Jason. I really would. Hello, my, my friends, how are today? What's up, Marshmallow? 
Uh, but Shadows wasn't really appreciated until after its time, but if people really love the first map, could make the game so hype. Yeah, but Shadows was received well at least. It didn't play well at launch, but it was still received really well. We also still had the Giant, and then we had Darius and Drac immediately following all of this. So, Black Ops 3 got off to a really good start, even though Zetsubo really killed the community. It just did. Like, there's no debating that. It did. Um, but still, it's, it's interesting, the whole situation that's going on with zombies. And it really is a make-or-break cycle. It just is. I watched Fuzz Fight, I never knew of him. Yeah, there's a lot of guys that, during Infinite Warfare, really did quit, because just BO3 was getting really stale, and they didn't like IW, so... You'll hit under K during BO4, hopefully. Hopefully. Because, I mean, the channel's been... It's been dormant, but, I mean, that's that's a lot of people. You know, it's it's been dormant, but, you know, hopefully it will uh, we'll come out here. Or a sense of humor, lol JK. Lol JK. Um... So many people quit actually makes me sad. Fucking wish IW and World War II weren't so trash and garbage. Okay. Infinite Warfare was actually good. I liked IW Zombies. Uh, Spaceland was solid as shit. Shaolin I warmed up to, but I really, really didn't like it at first. Attack, I still hate. And Beast from Beyond was pretty good, but the Super Easter Egg and all the stuff that followed that was really, really good. So, I think if we actually just sit down and say to ourselves, okay, well, IW wasn't that bad and the more casual fan base can appreciate it more, then it's going to be good. It's up the last time. But, and World War II, it got ruined because of all the stuff that happened before the launch with all of that other, you know, bullshit that went on with the Easter egg and everything with Noah and Dalek and all of them. I think that that was just a bad situation all around and it didn't help that the game sort of flopped at launch anyway. But the final rank was solid. I really didn't like the Darkest Shore, but the Shadow Throne's actually a really solid map. Hey, Hey, Nightmare Cooper, thanks for sub, dude. Um, but yeah, it's they're pretty solid. It's just they weren't accepted by the hardcore or casual communities at large. But I think that if we can actually sit down and say to ourselves, hey, it's content, it's really not as bad as we think it is, then yo, hey, ho. Um, what's your favorite video you've ever made? Mm, I don't know, actually. Probably... A935 Z Knight, thanks for the sub, dude. Um, favorite video I've ever made. Uh, it might be the worst thing ever added to zombies, right? Because it was such a random video. And yes, I know I just shot. I don't really care. But it was such a random video. But it it was one of my favorites because it was just fun to make, right? And the reaction to it was really, really good. I don't know. I like that. What can Shrek do? Keep doing what they're doing and keep developing the story. Because right now they don't have the leeway to really fuck with things too much uh why can i still join a ps on party probably because we're still in the same one from like two weeks ago so you can still join it i mean uh, i think cherry's off in nick's party i think they were playing fortnite i don't know if she's just you know watching now or she's still playing fortnite or what she's doing but yeah um i don't like beast because they ruined extinction for me i don't know i don't see it that way i see it as paying homage to it and really like trying to tie in all the stories together that's just me personally though 50k would be the milestone to be honest it's like a magical number where you start building more and more loyal viewers and you get more viewers and shit and chat doesn't move extremely fast yeah 50k really is it's a um it's sort of validation where you know hey you have made it past the big hurdle of you know one sub to 50,000 right but once you get to 50,000, it's almost a guarantee in the community that, you, that you're going to make it to 100k, essentially. I wouldn't say it's an absolute certainty, but I would say that makes things a lot easier. OMG, hi, I'm new to your channel. What's up, Cooper? Says so you only have 31 viewers. Deserve some more? Hey, thanks, dude. Appreciate it, Chase. I'm new to your channel, Russian Lucas Gaisel. Shut up. How to find Jug and D is my favorite video of weeks. Okay, right. As shitty of a video as that was, and as much as I really, really didn't enjoy it, and the audio quality's bad, and whatever you want to say about it, that was a good video, alright? Shut up. And that was back when I didn't even make any videos. Can you please give me a shout? I've been working really hard on my channel, and I think you might even enjoy some of the content. I'll give you a little piece of advice, right? No one in this community has ever made it by asking people for shoutouts. It just doesn't happen. The way the zombies community works is, you work your ass off, and you wait for people to respect you, and you wait for people to see that you have good content, 
and you wait for people to actually appreciate you for what you're doing and actually enjoy your content because of that, not because you're asking people to come to your channel. That's just not how this works. So just grind your ass off and eventually get there, my dude. That lightning is annoying as fuck. It really is. That shit gives me a seizure, I swear. It's the most annoying thing. Well, oh, it's electric cherry, yeah. Yeah, cherry, it's, um, eh. I don't know. It's only good in Mob of the Dead, but it does get annoying. Story is the only thing that keeps people interested. Yeah. What happened to you rebranding? Okay, so, for anyone that doesn't know, um, probably before Chronicles came out, around that time, I wanted to actually rebrand my channel and, like, rename it Russian, R U S H I N. But that didn't really end up happening, so uh, it's a long story and I'll explain it in a minute. Let me catch up on chat. What's up, how you doing? Hey, it was good, Derek. Zombies community is one of the worst, to be honest. Shut up. I'm screwed. I need to do 595 assignments to be on pace. I'm screwed. Um, pay someone? By the way, yeah, it's not the game lagging, but, or that's not the stream lagging. That's the physical game lagging on an Xbox One, so yeah. How you get your first thousand subs? Uh, you grind your ass off. It's like anything, right? You get your friends and your family to watch, and you really just have to grind out content, just sort of hope that a couple of videos do well and you start getting noticed. That's just how it happens. Is Raid Fusion worse YouTuber? Uh, yeah. It's an amazing tip, but definitely keep up the work, yeah. It's that, that's just how the community works, you know what I mean? It's sort of enigmatic where typically you won't have like just a viral video, you know, at 100 subs or whatever. It really is a grind to get where you wanna be. But once you really do get there, it's really satisfying, especially with this community, because we are so tight-knit, and because it's not absolutely massive right now, and if you are if you are pulling in views, then that does mean that you're definitely doing something right, and you should be proud of that, you know? Look, give me shout-out, xxxxxxxx. Uh, yeah, sure. Shout-out to CherryGamer103 in the chat, please. Okay, okay, uh, th this just reminded me, right? I don't know why this just popped back into my head, but uh, back when Shadows of Evil was still new, back in 2015, right? Uh, I received the single worst shout out in YouTube history from, I think it was The Smith Plays and NoahJ456 at the same time, right? So basically what it was, was on last gen Shadows of Evil, before the Razorback actually was added into Zetsubo no Shima, uh, or it was ever added, I forget what the hell happened to it. Anyway, but... There was a way to actually get the Wonder Waff on last gen Shadows of Evil, and that was still a meme and whatever. So I knew a couple of friends who modded over on 360, and I hooked them up with Noah and all those other guys, right? So that they could stream it. And when they started up their stream, they didn't link any of us, by the way, so it's really funny. But they basically didn't even bother to go to either me or my friend's channel, and they just said my channel URL of Forever Immortal 2014 and. Uh, what was the other? I can't remember what the other guy's channel URL was, but that wasn't even my channel name. They just looked at the URL that we linked them and just decided they were just gonna read that. It was really funny. Uh, I got some of my viral video with 1.8k views and 32 subs. That's actually really good, not gonna lie. That really, really is. For a 32 sub channel, it's actually really dope. What's your Xbox? Um, Hell Rush. I think John knows it by heart, or maybe Phenomenal does. Someone might put it in chat. Oh, yeah, I had it all the time. What, issues with Origins on PS3? Uh, yeah, weird. Kill too many zombies with the lightning staff and it freezes. Weird. That's weird. Bro, that's shitty. It was so funny, though. I mean, that was not that was when I really wasn't doing much zombie stuff for YouTube in general, but I just found it to be really funny. I don't know, I, like, it just stuck out in my mind because it was just the single worst shout-out in history. Oh, it was great. It was really great. I was pretty happy, yeah. My most video is 20,000 views because it was a meme. Hell yeah, dude. Memes pulling the views, my guy. Honestly, just meme compilations. You'll see them out of nowhere where it's like 2 million views. And I go, what? Why? <laughs> like, what? I think about making your sub count private again? Nah. Not going to keep my sub count private. Like, probably ever again, realistically, because I only did it at that point, like I said, because I just think that people shouldn't care about my sub count. I don't think that they should still, but I just don't see a point in reprivating it and then republicing it and all that other sort of shit, so. I don't know. Just didn't, just not even bother anymore. Send this for a picture, don't block me, no promises. I know what, um, my Xbox gamer tag by heart. Dragon Ball Fighter Z is gnarly TBH. Just get out. My list on this map, soul is 58 and cop 61. That's actually really good, dude. That's really good, my guy. 
I feel like most smaller channels are making a mistake by waiting for BO4 to grind zombies. Good is going to be more saturated than BO3. Um, but that's why you come back a little early, right? My advice to everybody is just come back in like June or July, maybe even earlier than that, right? Maybe even May, and then grind out content until the game actually drops because that's when people are going to be looking for stuff the most and you're going to actually have a fair shot at growing your channel a little bit is before the game drops and probably a couple weeks afterwards once the you know bandwagon you know upload three videos a year people leave you know so isn't it hell rushing yeah yeah it's still my xbox only 100 of that team is greg though wait what are you talking about i missed something here i missed something here oh world's first on bo4 map <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, Greg out of most groups is really the only Easter egg hunter. Let's be fair here. Especially if he's playing with plus Johnny and... Who, who else is in this team? Matta who's in this team? Oh, no, wait, that was... Oh, no, wait, never mind. Greg plus Johnny, world's first Easter egg. Yeah, no, it wouldn't happen. Greg really is the only Easter egg hunter in there. I'm going to have to side with her on, with her on this one, not going to lie. Mid-26 on Knocked. Hey, that's, that's actually... I mean, on Knocked, yeah, it's actually dope. I'm just here watching gameplay Mob of the Dead, which I never played. I only bought Origins and Buried. Mob of the Dead's got a good map. You actually have to be a solid player to actually be good at it, but it's a really good map at the end of the day. And time to grab the gas cans. I think BO4 is going to be Mob of the Dead Remastered. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's no way they're not. There's no way that's not going to be the pre-order bonus. Because if you think about it, um, with Black Ops 1, they had the Hardened Edition where you could get all of the World of War maps. Um... And it was basically, uh, whatever the fuck it was. Ah, what was the name of that DLC? It's gonna, it's, it's slicking my mind right now. Um, Resurrection. That's what it was. It's basically Resurrection, and you can get it with the game dropped. So, remastered maps. Black Ops 2, when it came out. Um, we had Nuketown. Essentially a remastered map. Um, and then Black Ops 3, we had the Giant. Not, not really smart guy in Luna. Wait, what am I missing here? Eh. Mm, yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. That is true. He does play with them. I would agree as well. The people grinding right now are the ones who will grow the largest. I, w I wouldn't necessarily think so, right? Because a lot of the people that are coming back aren't going to necessarily pay attention to, oh, who is here? I'm going to watch their content because they were here first. No, it's going to be the people that upload the best content or the stuff that is really trendy. That's just how it's going to be. Fellow course and zombies? What do you mean, Chase? What do you mean? Never understood the meme of getting COD games early. Like, how does people get games early and the entire meme behind it? People just get it by buying, like, essentially what people do is they go to stores. They say, okay, we'll pay you extra money or it's people that work at these stores. And they just pay extra money. Sub Bastion, Sub Sebastian. Do you have a PS4? Yeah. Um, my PSN is the exact same thing as my, um, yeah, as my YouTube. But you can't really add me. You can follow me because I had to block it off. It, it just got too spammy. Big YouTubers won't come back immediately because the audience won't be there yet, so the initial waves. They'll come back probably about three weeks from now, before the reveal happens and, you know, all that other shit starts to kick in. Fam, this deal on Bits is dope. Dude, right? That Bits deal is fucking amazing. Like, I think I gave five you know, the 500 Bits to um, one of my old friends who was streaming. But, you know, it's like, still. Shout out, please. Nah. I'm good. When's the chick coming back? Wait, you mean Cherry, the girl who actually has a name around here, and you should respect that? Okay, I'll follow you. you should play Fortnite together. I mean, if you can join me, you know, hey, ho. Saying Noah J has been off of zombies lately, so I'm watching you to keep it up. Less zombies players, more reviews for you to keep it up. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Much love. Uh, it's better fucking have the same wall weapons and the same box weapons. It's probably going to. They're going to add some new ones in here, you know, but hey, ho. See, everyone watches you for me now, right? Like, I mean, goddamn, taking over my channel. Girl, you play with, I forgot her name. Uh, the person in the chat called Cherry Gamer 101 who's also my girlfriend, what? Okay. I mean, like, child, what? Oh, God, she's going to laugh her ass off at that. She's going to laugh her ass off. Hope you have revive survival zombies, zombies is co-op survival game. We already went over this conversation, matter. we already did. Uh, although, apparently, it looks like you can only buy the deal once, which makes sense, but at the same time, it sucks. Yeah, I mean, because they're losing $4 every time someone does it. They're not going to let you just spam it. And would you play with me for my birthday on May 5th? I mean, maybe, dude. Maybe. Depends on what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, it's like, it's so hectic, like, everything that goes on. It's hard to keep track of so many people, man. Like, I'll try, but, you know, it's just, it's all over the place. 
So if you haven't streamed in a while or is Subbox messed up, Subboxes are fucked. Um, if you actually look at my channel, I've been pretty inactive, generally speaking, but I have streamed a couple times. Do we get it? You have a girlfriend? John, we get it. Shut up. You, have, you don't have one. XD. Sorry, were you dating her? Yes. Uh, hey man, no Jay is a, t is a bit annoying to listen to, just a fool. It's an opinion. It's an opinion. Wait, what is the description of a purge you think you should put in BO, you should put in BO for zombies? Uh, I have no idea what the hell you just said to me, to be quite honest with you. And she's Scottish? Yeah. Oh, they don't ruin it with a gobblegum sort of thing? They're going to. They're going to put gobblegums in there. Regardless of what anyone says, they're going to put it in there. It was profitable, and for the largest part, people liked it. So, hey. Are you upgrading your cut computer? Um, maybe? I mean, the thing is, it still works. It's still actually pretty decent. I mean, I can run BO3 Zombies on, like, 150 FPS, which, I get it, it's still a game from 2015, but it's still pretty demanding. I can run most things on my computer. Like, I really can, so I don't see a point in, up in spending the money and upgrading it. You know what I mean? Congrats on making Luca furry, yeah. Now Luca's going to become one of the people that used to make fun of, right? So boxes are fucked to normal viewers. It just sounds like they're complaining about low view counts, but it's true. Um, so apparently the way that it works, like YouTube said, is they send out notifications to everybody, or to, sorry, the most active people on your channel. And you have to have notifications enabled on your phone in order to actually receive them from YouTube at all. Whether that be on desktop or mobile. It's really, really weird. The whole situation kind of fucked. And they admitted that sub boxes are screwed up. So, you know, hey, uh, the unicorn ones, yeah, I miss some. Wait, let me, let me see this. She has an accident to play Fortnite with you? Yeah. For your first case in stream, please are the unicorn onesie. Hey, maybe. Maybe. Um... I think BO4 is going to be on 360. Uh, no. Just no. It won't be. That's all I'm going to tell you right now is no, it won't be. Uh, I wish I could make, just make a zombies game. It'll be like the old days. It's not going to happen. It's just not. It, it would be too long to explain, but it's just not going to happen. It's your highest round on zombies. Uh, mine's 64 on Revelations. 169 on BO1 Assumption. Cherry is a goddess. Luke is a cuck for not giving his entire channel. To her. I know, right? I should just like, you know, just give it up to her, rename it Cherry Gamer 101, and then I should just rename her channel to Russian8703. Yeah? You know? I have a pen that looks like a bullet. America. BO4 is going to be on the Wii calling it. Uh, no, they actually confirmed that it's not going to be. Hello. Hello, dude. Mint around for you, no jug, no revive with one down. That's pretty dope, actually. That is pretty dope, my man. You're a PU, never mind. What? The fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> Can someone please translate that? You're a PU. Never mind. At least you use PU correctly. Gimme, give gimme, give chicken tendies. Be they crispy or from Wendy's. Spend, Spend my hard earned good boy good points. points. B-O-2-H-Y-P-P-P-P-P-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E-E
Cavs are the Rockets. Um, James Harden's pretty unstoppable. Genuinely, I don't pay like too much attention to the NBA. Like, to be quite honest with you, it's just not something I've ever really like, t you know, paid too much attention to. So, but yeah, it's probably the Rockets. The Cavs look really, fr just from what I've seen, they look really weak right now, and just it doesn't look like they're gonna have their shit together. But that might be a statement that doesn't age well. And as soon as they go into the playoffs, they might just not lose a fucking game. So. Mine's 120 revelations, two downs. That's dope. I'm done. There's hot chocolate in the kitchen. Oh, go go and go and grab that, my guy. And go and touch your fucking cock. Anyway, uh, yeah, for the people that don't know, uh, John has this, or Nameless Potato, whatever, has this uh, chicken that just constantly won't shut up outside his window or whatever it is. So, yeah, that that's where the joke comes in. So, yeah. ZNS is underrated. ZNS is overrated and should die in a hole. Didn't we already go over this? Didn't we? Wait, wait. Didn't we go over this? Why no hangout? I'll, I'll like, it's just been so busy. Kind of formulate anything it takes to be a successful zombie super in terms of, uh, you find your own path. There is no formula. There is a path to it that you have to carve out yourself. Everyone that's been successful in zombies has done it out of true, like, innovation, if that makes any sense. There's no one that has really copied each other that has become truly big in the community. So there's no real path to it other than just being original. That's all I can tell you. What are the challenges for ZWC2? Don't know, they haven't released them yet. Time to ask my question, what's the main console you play on? PS4. PS4, that's just what I play on. Uh, same here, all this coding. Wait, you've been coding a lot? And I don't know what the hell Marco said, but all right. I'm trash at zombies, why is that? Trap Nation? Genuinely not a huge trap guy to be honest with you just never been something that I've really delved into too much and I know trap nations like one of the biggest channels out there and It's all it's all right. I've listened to some of the stuff like the not copyright stuff that they have on there It's all right, but it's like trap in general is just not a genre. I'm like super into uh, Everyone has a mr. A J in their name What? English English senior please I would appreciate that. I'm just suggesting that I start being a YouTuber. I'm mostly just wondering about equipment and upload schedule and personality. Um, equipment doesn't necessarily matter. If you're doing zombies, obviously, like, you can do it off of your PS4, and you could really only stream doing that. But if you're going to actually, you know, like, want to do high-quality content and stuff, and you don't want to, you know, go that route, then you're probably going to need at least a blue snowball. You could probably get something a little bit cheaper. Um, their project, hey, nice. Um, but probably gonna need like, let's say, you know, a snowball. Um, you're obviously gonna need an Elgato if you want to make videos and such, but generally speaking, you don't need like the best laptop in the world. You don't need any of that other stuff that can come with time. Obviously it needs to be good enough to be able to do what you want to do. Um, but that sort of thing really is just, it, it is a little bit of a money investment. You know what I mean? And you're probably not going to make that back on YouTube for at least a while. But that's not the purpose that you should go into it. You should go into it to have fun. And you shouldn't see it as an investment more so of just, hey, this is a hobby I want to do, so I'll spend money on it. What's up, Tanner? Um, and then upload schedule. Just upload as much as you want to. That's what it comes down to. Upload when you want to and what you want to. And personality-wise, just be you. Obviously, you know, you have to be a little bit more excited if you sound like this and you sound like you want to hang yourself. No one's going to watch your shit. But if you do sound a little bit enthusiastic, not faking it necessarily, but you do have to sound a little bit enthusiastic, it's going to make your life a lot easier. Um, but yeah, it's not genuinely something that is that... Um, I wouldn't say it's not hard. It's just you have, you have to really like put time and effort into it to really like get it to start moving. And then once it does, it's pretty hard to stop. Um, I was dead five years old. Dang, I know, right? It really is. It's a shocker. How do you plan on being an original Zombies YouTuber? Um, I, th I think for the most part, I already am. Being original isn't even a requirement. Just streams some more challenges to the big guys and pray. Mm, I don't know. I don't really know about that one. Like, that works for, like, really short-term growth. But, I mean, look at anyone above, like, let's say 100,000 subs, right? A lot of those guys genuinely... I Maybe there's one or two exceptions, but all of them have basically been original. And it might not seem it anymore, but at the time, the content that they made was original. I mean, look at the Smith plays in top fives. 
he really brought that into the zombies community and now everyone does him and you know he might seem like part of the shuffle now but at the time he was the original so i don't know anyway um let me let me do this jet be a video game developer or a comedian um probably a comedian because yes it's a rigorous schedule but being a video game developer especially for triple a games like call of duty is hell it just is Awesome, my soul helped me find it. Nah, I'm good. You're probably a ginger. There's so much in common with Mob of the Dead and SOE. Well, yeah, that was the whole point. I think um, Blundell, he actually got asked about that, and they said, yeah, like, that that was, you know, part of the whole thing was, yeah, we wanted it to seem similar. Um, I mean, there is a reason that they have all the connections to them, and they're in the same universe and all that other sort of stuff, so it's pretty reasonable to assume that, you know, obviously, and Jason said it himself, that they wanted them to feel similar. Yeah. You know? Uh... Sorry, I'm trying to catch a bunch yet. And zombies, all the channels, uh, Mister in their name. Yeah, uh, yeah, that that is a fairly common trend. Yeah, I, I will say that. Yeah, da yeah, Dalgan Smuts. Yeah, okay, that to be fair, yeah, that that is a fairly common trend. Burger King foot lettuce. All right, I say Burger King foot lettuce. That's a dead meme. I know, right? Like, go back to 2009. I mean, if you're interested, I could show you what I'm up to. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm in, so I'm in that shit on Discord, my guy. Really need to upgrade my PC first. I have Goodwill PC and two shitty monitors and a shitty desk. I mean, I, I have a shitty desk, you know what I mean? And I've had the same computer since 2015. But yeah, like, if you do genuinely feel like you need to upgrade to PC first and do that, um, YouTube's always going to be here. And there's always going to be stuff that you're going to want to make on YouTube. Um, so don't feel like you ever have to rush into it, especially... Uh, especially if you don't feel like you're maybe ready for it. Because YouTube is a big time commitment. It really is. And if you're not ready for maybe the time commitment or there's always the possibility of, you know, not becoming the biggest YouTuber. And if you're okay with that and you're just doing it for fun, then yeah. But don't spend every penny you have to go into it. You know what I mean? So unless you really, 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 really feel like that's where you want to go and you know that you're going to be doing it for like at least a year. Go to ZWC if so, I might go and just hang out with you all day, okay? Um, yeah, I'm going. What's up, Israel? Is it gay to suck a fat dude's titty if it feels like a chick? No. I'm not sure if I agree. A matter stream takes personality to be successful. It takes personality, but there is a little bit of, you know, truth in the whole pack puncher thing where, yeah, it wasn't all original content. What's up, Spiral? It wasn't all original content. I will fully, like, you know, admit that. Like, I've known pack puncher since he's had a couple hundred subs. Don't talk to him anymore, but... Um, it wasn't really all original content. It was a lot of good timing on his part where zombies was really popping. YouTube was pushing streams and it pushed him to the moon. So, yeah, it takes personality to be successful. Let me see this. Take someone who people enjoy hanging out with and want to spend time with. It's more of a friend, or rela friend relationship. Yeah, you have to be relatable, if that makes sense. You have to be sort of an A-list personality where... If you saw someone on the street or you saw them like on Instagram or some shit, you want to be like, yeah, I want to be that guy. Just follow my channel's Instagram. Ah, I don't even have an Instagram for myself, my dude. Uh, I kind of think I want to get a PS4 first and then over time save more money and start making money off of YouTube. I can finally upgrade my PC. Um, I would never go into YouTube with the intention of like, you know, oh yeah, if I make certain amounts of money, I'm going to do this. Just go into it because you like it, like I said. Even if it takes another year, two, three, whatever it may be, YouTube's always going to be here, dude. It's always going to be. OMG, you said hi to me again? I mean, hi. Uh, if I pass her, give me 500 bucks. Fair enough. That is a fair enough, my guy. That is an absolutely... Okay. Can't wait to see your beautiful face in person. Uh, I can't wait to try to avoid you the entire weekend so I can actually hang out with my girlfriend. See you to Gilux and Zombie Slay and hope to get to watch the next stream. Hey, thanks, fam. Thanks for, uh, thanks for chilling. Much love. Peace. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, Zombies is in a weird state right now. I think we can all agree on that, to be quite frank. You know, Zombies is, um, I kind of don't want to say that it's dead. It's just dormant right now, but BO4 really, 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 really needs to do well for the Zombies community to get fully revived and be stronger than it was during BO3. Are you a little pumped? Uh, maybe in disguise. So basically what you're saying is that you need to be original to grow and you, and then you need to steal ideas to continue to grow. Not necessarily, where you can either you can go either route, but with zombies in particular, I'm pretty stupid. I went to, I thought that was, never mind. Um, yeah, it's weird, yeah. 
What's up, Hunter? But uh, originality really does put you in a good place in the community because if it's good stuff, it does. everything original doesn't always necessarily mean that it's good content. It obviously needs to be good and original at the same time, and it needs to be a good idea that people will give a shit about. But if you can find that and mix it in with some stuff that isn't always original, you want to have a good mix of original content and stuff that people you know, have done before, like challenges and things along those lines, because not everything can always be original. But at a certain point, there is a lack of original content, and you're going to need to, like I said, do that sort of thing. But if you really want to be original, then it puts you in a good place in the community and people will point you out as, hey, you're not just a The Smith Plays copycat or you're not just another Mr. T. Luxfy or anything like that. They'll point you out as you and they'll really appreciate you for being original. Still play this map, dude. Mob of the Dead, though. Honestly, bo 2s the GOAT. Uh, can, we get, can we get some hands raised in the chat if bo 2 is the greatest game of all time? Or greatest Call of Duty game of all time? I get Mob of Dead's five years old, Dave. Was it really your favorite, though? Uh, no, it's not. It's not. I never claimed it to be my favorite. I'm just saying it's five years old, Dave. Ha ha. Hey, guys. What's up, Cthulhu? Uh, you've been asking us a lot. I want to know what do you think. Do you think BO4 will be able to reproduce community health? I don't know yet. I really don't. From the hype that we saw from the BO4 teaser uh, and, you know, sort of reveal that we got, I think that it's going to be able to. But it really all comes down to what Sherrick decides to do. If they keep the formula somewhat the same as it is now, with a little bit of innovation in every single map, and it doesn't flop hard, and they don't fuck it up too much, then I really think that it'll be in a really strong place. And if the next game can follow up on that success, then yeah, you know, it's um, it's going to be in a really, really good place. But there is all the chance in the world that it could flop, and unlike you know past years, it could just straight kill the community. So there's a lot of worry that goes on there. Not Grace Cod Games finest hour. Just get out. Mob of Dead versus Origins. Origins, personally. Fortnite Zombies mode. I mean, Fortnite Zombies mode was around before Battle Royale. Everyone forgets that. I mean, it's called Save the World, you know. But hey ho. And we got the hands in the chat. Hell yeah, dude. BO3's best. It's an opinion. Mob's daddy. Hell yeah, dude. Who plays on PS3? Nah, 360 Master Race, my dude. 360 Master Race. And by the way, the, the stream is not lagging. It's literally the game itself can't run on an Xbox One somehow. You know, but hey. And then BO, do you think Gobble Gums are going to be in BO4? Yes. They make way too much money in the integral part of the game that they're they're going to be in there. And there's actually a rumor that supposedly they're going to drag your uh, Gobble Gums over from the last game, but I highly doubt that. Maybe you'll be able to trade some of them in. I don't really know. Maybe they'll do... Oh, you know it would be great? Okay, right, this just popped into my head. Imagine they did a Black Ops 3 community challenge, right? Where what they did was if we reached some ridiculous goal of like 5 billion headshots or something like that, or a billion rounds played, something like that in a month, then they would give us five gobble gums to start off with in Black Ops 4. They won't tell us what they are, but they'll give us five gobble gums or maybe one of each one that's going to be in at launch. That would be absolutely amazing. That would bring people back to the game. That would create a lot of hype. That would be insane. Just imagine that. Is the stream late? What do you mean? You mean delayed? Uh, no, it should be delayed. I know, I'm sad, yeah. I think the ray gun is going to be good in BO4? No. They've been trending away from it, and the ray gun has basically become sort of just a commodity at this point. And they only put it in because if they didn't, people would fucking cry. And be like, why don't you have the ray gun in here? Well, because no one ever uses it. But... It's part of zombies. All right, fine. We'll put it in. So, Zombies Chronicles 2. Maybe for BO4, but it's not going to happen for BO3. It's just not. God, this scared the shit out of me. Hey, Phoenix Slayer. Thanks for sub, dude. My dude, I'm back after so many months. This is all my dude. What are you playing on 360 or the 1? I'm playing on the 1. I am playing on the 1, my man. By the way, I love how we started off the stream with me doing shit. I'm still doing pretty admittedly shit, you know, but hey-ho. At, at least we're a little bit better than where we were, all right? You know, we're doing slightly better. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, uh, regular gamer, thanks for sub, dude. Much love. But, um... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that would be absolutely insane, though. I like the community challenges idea. 
And I think that if they can implement one into BO3 before Black Ops 4 comes out, that would be absolutely amazing. If we start shitposting. Ah! No. Uh, I play Geometry Dash in BO2. People still play Geometry Dash? Seriously? Alright. Okay. The ray gun marked 999,999. I mean, I don't think Call of Duty is going to get that far where there would be 999,999 versions of the ray gun to make. But, you know, hey, how you never know. Never know. As you go through the ruler of the universe, I can confirm all these rumors. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Praise Cthulhu. Praise the sun. What kind of graphics card shall I acquire? Uh, Phenomenal, are you still in the chat? Hello? You're still here. We have a computer question. You're that guy. You are, you're that guy. Yeah. How the fuck do you save rounds and I can turn off the Xbox One and saves your rounds on BO3 but not BO2 well because it just doesn't have rest mode on Black Ops 2 the consoles just didn't have that like you know just it didn't have the feature to go into rest mode it was either on or off so can't really tell you anything other than that Jag congrats my dude I seen in Twitters hell yeah dude congrats to my man Jag old map hell yeah dude we are her playing the mobs dare mobs Killing the game, hell yeah, dude. Phenomenal's a big old nerd. I mean, yeah. What's sub equals? The Black Ops series will never die. What do you think the first zombies map BO4 will take place? Um, New York City. Bold statement, New York City. What's your budget for a graphics card and what CPU do you have right now? I think he has, uh, do you actually have a PC or do you have a laptop, Nolan? Do you play Fortnite? Yeah. Don't play it, you know, for this channel, but I just play it in my spare time. Can't spell same. Like sad them Luke. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I saw it. I saw the purple Reagan on Twitter. I know. Congrats, my guy. I know. Uh, you know, my school still play five. Seriously? Okay. Well, to be fair, you're you're it's still in middle school, so I mean that's kind of still to be expected. I mean it's just but five nights. Ugh. Just, ugh. Ew. Probably. Wait, what did I miss? I missed something here. Eh. Eh. I'm gonna go play some Fortnite. Peace. All right. Peace out, Tank. Thanks for chilling for a while, my guy. It'll be cool if there's challenges for everyone and you can get gobble gums for completing them with BO4 and challenges you get done, the more gums you get. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, It would be really cool, right? Just imagine this. If they revamped the gobble gum system where instead of Liquid Divinium for buying stuff every seven rounds, what if you just got it for playing certain numbers of rounds where... Let's say one look of Divinium every 10 rounds or something like that, and you could save them up forever, and it would go, you know, it would go really, really crazy. It would push people to actually start doing high rounds again, and it would actually push people to do something other than Easter eggs. Uh, why I didn't know about this channel before a nice stream and love mob did it. Hey, thanks, Reaper. I much love, dude. Are you Russian? Uh, no, I'm Ukrainian. And African. And Italian. And Chinese. And Turkish. All at the same time. Just sub hey thanks dude much love. Uh, I played it three years ago, got scared and I deleted it. <laughs> oh Jag. Oh Jag, you silly boy. You silly boy. Can't really help you if you don't know anything. Right. It's something that you need to at least do a little bit of research into it, Nolan. Like you can definitely check the specs on your PC because it'll tell you at least, you know, unless any of the parts are swapped out, there is somewhere you can go on your PC where it will tell you what you have. So Yeah, I mean hey. It's either that or um, there's a bunch of benchmark programs where it'll actually show you like what games you can run. Want them to remaster town? Eh, I don't know. Why do they have to do algebra? It's to it's to be easy. Yeah. Okay. I I, mi I missed that. That just went straight in my head. Might be because I'm tired. You know, but hey ho, all right. Got Chronicles yesterday and it's so fun. Chronicles is great. It was great for the community. I mean. Probably Moon was the map that benefited the most, I would say. Dream Perk. Uh, um... I don't really know, like, what they could do at this point that wouldn't be massively overpowered. Where... We don't really have an ammo perk, but at the same time it would be exploited like crazy. So I don't really know if they could do anything with ammo. And aside from that, I don't really know what there is to do other than that. So, mm, I don't really know. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Who are playing mod today? It's five years old and 
Play five years and one day after? Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. How old are you? I'm 19. Why is the stream so serious? God damn. Like, god damn it. I mean, we're just, we're just chilling and playing Mob of the Dead. Like, yeah. Perm perks, my guy. Dude, perm perks were the shit. They were. Honestly, you need more perm perks. Like, please, Jason, bring back perm perks. They were great. Little Sun's Town to be remastered. Eh. I mean, if it was, hey, cool, you know, it's the survival maps, but if it wasn't, I wouldn't sit here and cry about it, if that makes sense. So, eh. Johnny's still in here. She's like, fuck you, I'm gonna go and leave you for John. <laughs> Play Fortnite with me. I right, guys, let's probably go another round or two and then we'll, like, hop off the stream. Uh, town best map. Pfft. Nah, we good. We good. Town's a good map, but I wouldn't say it's the best. I mean, it's a pretty basic survival map, you know? She's already done it once. Oh, I know. Ah, no. And she comes... Eh, never mind. Never mind. Shh, John, don't tell him. I know. Like, chat. Please, save me. Save me. Keep them from playing Fortnite shitpost. I don't know. Do you know Ninja? I, I watch Ninja. Yeah, what about him? I don't know the guy, but yeah, I, I watch him. Kidding, okay, gotcha. Make a system where you get, uh, where when you get perks, they add up to your account, and you can combine them to make current perks that you start the game with. I don't know how that would really work, and I think that like it would be really overpowered. I would like to see the class sort of system that we have in World War II, where you have, you know, something like Frontline or Camo, something along those lines, that maybe you have to buy a perk in order for it to be unlocked, that would be really cool and it would mix up the dynamic of the game. Um, I, would, I would love to see something like that personally. I think that would be a good way to balance everything. Myth's better, lol. I don't really watch too much of Myth because it's like, if it makes any sense, I just like watching Ninja because it's really casual and his chat's pretty like chilled out. I mean, but Myth, I just sit there and I constantly feel like I'm losing chromosomes, but that's the whole point of the stream, you know, is he's really good, but you constantly feel like you're losing chromosomes, you know? So, eh, I don't know. Plus, I like Dr. Lupo, so, I mean, you know, Ninja plays with him a lot, and, you know, him and Lupo have pretty good chemistry because they've known each other for so long, so. My opinion, best map, Shadows. Uh, I mean, you know, hey, it's really good. I would say it's top five, coming soon. What's coming soon? What is coming soon, gentlemen? What is coming soon? You mean, Mob of the Dead Remastered? Stream for Bobs. Dude, I did stream for Bobs, and we acquired them. Thank you very much. The Bobs. B.O.B. I have a Pentium Duo cool to the 4 gigs of RAM. Okay, so anyone that knows anything about computers, translate that in English for me. Okay, cool, thanks. And then help them out. That's what I'm going to need to do. I watch Ninja Avery and I'm Wildcat. I don't watch Wildcat much anymore, but Avery and Ninja, yeah, they're both really good. I'm happy to see Avery succeed, though. As, much, as controversial as he might be, you know, for a lot of people, I like his stuff, so... Eh. 23 chromosomes. Nice. How about the doc? Um, eh, don't really watch much of the doc, right? Like, his gimmick is cool and everything like that, but his chat is just two aids where it's just all straight up. I, it's not even toxic. It's just weird, you know? I don't know. Let me see. Don't unlay stream. It's going to happen. Run that strategy so early. I'm in the game. Yeah, it's boring. You should be camping at double tap. Eh, I mean... You can't really do that. I mean, well, yeah, have acid guy. Yeah, you can do it. But you would need Mark II, and Mark II's a pain in the ass to get a mob of the dead, so eh, is it worth it? Nah, not really. Not really, my guy. Well, you know about that Intel Pentium? Tch. You did the Origins Easter egg? I mean, at this point, who hasn't done the Origins Easter egg or at least seen it? Like, gosh. If you haven't seen it, like, gosh, what pubs? How hard is Origins on Solo? If you know what you're doing, it's not very hard. It's really not, um, but once you get, if you don't know what you're doing, it'll be extremely difficult and frustrating though. You just have to take the time to actually learn it. My computer can barely learn Roblox and YouTube at the same time, it's an ass PC. Well, it's probably because, I mean, let's be fair here. If you're watching YouTube, what, what browser are you using? You're using Chrome, because Chrome's a RAM hog. So that might be part of your issue. Where your computer's trying to do many things at once and a lot of computers aren't very good at multitasking, I will say that right now, so it might not just be your computer. And obviously if you're watching the stream at a good quality, that doesn't really help things either. 
or if you're watching videos or whatever it is, so. Uh, my T cap starts tomorrow. What the hell is a T cap? I hate Origins, why? Just not your style of map, you know, with all the mud and stuff, or what? Anyway, good night for you guys. Love from Brazil. Alright, peace out, Cthulhu. Much love. Uh, I'm watching on Internet Explorer. LOL, you fucking pleb. Who watches on Internet Explorer? Jesus Christ. Who are you? Just jeez. Yeah, he's crime. Do you have a different browser suggest for YouTube? Um, probably Mozilla. Uh, that uses a lot less CPU, I would say, than Chrome does. Chrome's notorious for being a CPU hog. I mean, with me, if I have like 10 tabs open or something like that, it'll use like 3 gigs of, or like 1.5 gigs of RAM, probably. And that depends on how many YouTube tabs I have open and what the tabs themselves are. But it takes up a decent amount of RAM in and of itself just because it saves a lot of data and it's just the way that it's built is inherently RAM heavy. So I would recommend something like Mozilla, which really isn't that heavy on it. So try that out and you'll notice a little bit less of a RAM usage. But that's not necessarily always, you know, your issue. You do obviously need a better um, CPU and you need better probably motherboard and things like that, you know, but hey, ho, can't really say it. And Luke's Bob's same. It's hardest Easter egg in your opinion. Hardest? Um, that's actually a good question. What is the hardest Easter egg? Um, prob mm, Buried's probably the most annoying. I don't know about hardest. Let me think about this. Are any of the BO3 ones hard? Um, not really. So probably Buried. And part of why I use Chrome is that I have Adblock on it. Well, you can get that. I mean, you can actually install Adblock, but I eh, wouldn't recommend it. He's in Kagia. Uh, Firefox is so easy to get virus on. Is it? I don't know. All I know is that there's there's a couple of different browsers that you can actually use, but um, Firefox is the one that I hear typically people use if they don't have a good PC and they want to watch YouTube and stuff. So that's just, you know, the first thing that came into my head. Obviously, I'm no wizard on it, you know, but hey, uh, miss the Thunder Guns? Same, though. Same. First of my school play Fortnite religiously, but they're so bad they only play with me because I need, they know I play games. XD. XD, John, XD. Well, I mean, at least it's friends. <laughs> at least it is friends, my guy. There's at least that. Take solace in knowing that. Worst map to exist is for M3 Master, I'll kill myself. I mean, eh. It was just, it was a survival map, you know what I mean? I know somebody downloaded Minecraft and got a virus. What a legend. Anyway. Uh, would Opera work? I don't know what I don't know much about Opera. I'm just casually playing Nocturne on 30. Nice. Netscape Navigator. Hell yeah, dude. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna off the stream here, guys. Um, you know, much love, you know, for hanging out today. Uh thank you for the subs, Sebastian for the dono. Um yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna be streaming next, but uh hopefully I'll be streaming you know, in the next couple week or a couple days, maybe a week. I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing. It's just sort of pretty spontaneous. But um yeah, I do appreciate you guys chilling. Leave a like on the stream, you know, sub, you know, things like that. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have a good night. Peace.